Jeffries just moments ago releasing a statement on its website trying to clarify what it says uh, are concerns, rumors it says are unfounded in terms of its exposure to Europe. My colleague Stephanie Rule is back at Bloomberg headquarters uh, with more information on just what that exposure does look like. Stephanie, what do we know? Margaret, in addition to the piece on their website, an internal memo went out from Rich Handler to their employees. It's to their employees, shareholders, and bondholders. This is a defiant piece of paper in my hand. It leads with, we are writing so that every one of our key constituencies receive the facts and reality directly from us. Instead of being misled by half-truths, false rumors, and lies being disseminated with malice by a group whose interests are absolutely opposed to yours and, your, and mine. Now, this letter is fueled with defiance. They're angry. There is a sense of we're not going to take it. They go on to outline how they fund themselves, their liquid inventory, and their capital base. With regard to their capital base, they continue to say, we weren't bailed out in 08, while others were, Jeffries was not. With regard to their liquid inventory, he says, we never forget we are in the moving business, not storage business. You know, that speaks to the Volcker rule and the fact that Jeffries, unlike the big banks, isn't weighed down with big inventory. They're moving paper all day. And with regard to... Um, the detail around their strategic goals, he's saying we have never moved from our original plan and people are basically trying to take a malicious run at them. Another reason we're seeing stock off 5% today, we, we saw that there's a lawsuit by MF investors going after Jeffries who brought their bond deal. Jeffries is basically saying right now, we're not going to take it. The question is, can they fight back?